Hi, everybody. I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee. I'm laughing because I really, I truly am astounded by this, this GFS run tonight because every night for the last, I don't know, week or so, I keep thinking, okay, this is about as warm as I think it could ever get. And then I look at the next run and I, my jaw just drops. But I'm going to take a look at this. First off, here's our cold blast that comes, such as it is, that comes through this weekend. So just enjoy it. And as you see, it lifts right out and the ridge starts to come up along the East Coast. And now we are into Christmas week. And here we go to Christmas Eve. Okay. Big upper ridge offshore trough out to the west that covers everything from the west coast all the way to the Mississippi River. And, of course, you see the endless problem of what's going on up in Canada where everything is just all wrong or all right, depending on whether you want the warm air or not. But this really just threw me for a loop. I'm going to switch over just quickly to this map because it's... It's just amazing to me. Uh, these are the temperatures that are forecasted for, now this is at 1 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve. We have a 69 degree temperature shown uh, right near New York City. Okay? And it gets better. Here we are at 12Z, which is 7 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve. And we have a 70 degree reading at six at seven o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve. And it holds there until one. There it is again at one o'clock in the afternoon. And then it drops all the way to 65 at 7 p.m. Might as well barbecue outside. And then we bring that cold front that's going to come through. And by Christmas morning, it's down to the low 40s, believe it or not. And back up into the 50s on Christmas Day. Uh, this would be the warmest Christmas Eve ever. The record for New York City I checked was 63. This is just really amazing to me. So let's go back now and check out this blast furnace that is the upper pattern. And I'm going to just go back to the full North America view because I want you to see everything with regards to what's going on up in Canada. So now here goes the ridge. And... It basically just reforms off the southeast coast and pops up yet again as we go into the weekend after Christmas. You have some troughing out to the west, but no big deal. And then we go and head up into New Year's where, for whatever reason, it wants to drop a deep trough here in the eastern states. Frankly, I don't believe any of this. The thing that, that continues to be uh, constant is this vortex that remains in place north of Alaska vortexes over uh, Greenland no real flow from Canada how real this is this is is not even worth speculating about but they're really at least through here through this period which is now New Year's Day we have no sign whatsoever of any pattern change now I'm gonna look at this other area for the first time I'm gonna switch to kind of a bizarre look or it may look bizarre it's actually looking at uh, the the uh, northern hemisphere from the top down. So I'm going to just stretch it out a little bit because a couple of things are showing up that uh, I, I just want to point out. You know, there was some chatter today uh, with regards to um, certain indicators perhaps starting to show warming at the highest levels of the atmosphere, which might be the beginning of some kind of pattern breakdown in a few weeks. There is this upper ridge. If you look, now this is northern Europe, and you have this big blocking high that develops there. Very, very strong. It covers almost all of Europe there. And you can just kind of see it. It sort of goes over the top. It probably has no implication to our pattern at all, but it just sort of caught my eye a little bit. So I, I want to, I have to be honest, uh, with, with regards to the long range, there are some things I'm coming to understand, and then there are other things that I'm still trying to get a grasp of. So... I just thought it was kind of interesting that it shows that there. But when we go down to North America, give you that profile, just back it up just a little bit. And, you know, if we keep your eyes just on what goes on here in the Arctic region, and you can see that vortex just kind of rotates around and around and around and really shows no ch sign of either breaking down or repositioning itself. Nothing. So 
we'll just continue our day-to-day -day watch, uh, get ready for what could be a, a, an incredibly warm Christmas Eve. And by the way, the uh, surface map, if you read the post that follows, the, that's connected with this, uh, shows a, the cold front coming through with what looks like show, rain, showers and thunderstorms. So it'll be amazing. We'll have a Christmas Eve with record high temperatures and severe weather. So in the meantime, nothing much has changed in the short range. We still have cold air coming in for this weekend. It brings temperatures back to near normal. This is going to be the warmest December ever recorded in New York City, and it's going to beat the prior record by a mile, probably by at least two, if not three degrees. Just an absolutely incredible month in a very, very uh, warm pattern that I see nothing that tells me that it's about to break.